at number 16, which is a par five. And I'm gonna be playing this hole with you guys, kind of explaining how I go about each shot and what goes through my mind. So the first thing I do is I get up to the tee box and I look at the fairway and see what's going on. So par five, I automatically think green light, hit the driver as hard as I can. Um, not actually, but I always pull out the driver at a par five. I know on this pull, if you're gonna miss it, miss it right. Uh, left is out of bounds, but I've been playing a cut all day, so that's what I'm gonna play. I get into my thinking box, which is right here, and I envision my shot, I envision what I wanna do. I'll take a few practice swings once I've decided. I just wanna make golf as simple as possible because it's already really hard. Once you're in your thinking box, as soon as you step out of that box, you aren't thinking of anything other than just swinging the club and having fun. About 240 yards. I might be able to muscle a three wood. I really don't think I can get a three wood there. Or the second option is to lay up to a yardage that you really like, you really feel comfortable with, so it gives you a good opportunity for birdie. I think I'm just going to hit my three wood down there as far as possible and give myself a chip into the green and hopefully walk away with a birdie. So that's what I'm going to do. There's definitely different ways to play this. So the same routine goes for every single shot I play. I take two practice swings. And then I get in my thinking box, envision my shot and hit it. That's all. Okay, not a bad shot. I faded it a little bit more than I intended on my line, so I'm in the rough, but I still have a wedge in, so we can still make birdie. I have about 28 yards to the pin. It's a front flag. And basically this is just all feel, whatever you feel comfortable with. There's really no wrong way to chip. So for me, I'm gonna use my 58 and just land one soft because it's a front pin, there's not much green. And hopefully you get a close. On to putting. My fourth shot, I have a pretty good opportunity here for birdie, so let's make a count. I'm going to walk around the hole and I'm going to read this putt from all angles so I have a good read on it. Take a little loop, take a little look, just feeling out the slope. There's really not much happening. It's going to break a little bit to the right, so maybe inside left edge. For putting, I get behind it, I look at the hole, and I take a few practice strokes, just feeling my tempo, my rhythm. From there, I pick my line, my target, and as soon as I have it picked, I'm confident, and I just put a good stroke on it, nothing else. You don't have to make it complicated. Just believe in your aim, believe in your stroke, and you've got it. birdie par five here at Couch and Golf Club. I hope you guys enjoyed playing a hole with me and hopefully more to come.